saw beetroot are a staple of my vegetable garden. I love them roasted with oregano and a grind of the salt mill. Just delicious. They're very easy to grow from seed and you won't have to wait long until harvest time. In this video, we'll show you every stage of the process so you can harvest perfect beets every time. Beets can be grown in containers of quality potting soil, but for best results, grow them in well-prepared soil that has been raked to a fine tilth. Beets need a sunny, open position and moist, fertile soil conditions. There are lots of types available. If you're a beginner, look out for bolt-resistant varieties, which are less likely to produce flowering stems rather than the tasty roots in hot summers. For the adventurous, there are many interesting colours, Varieties with concentric rings such as Chiogia look particularly impressive in salads. Sow seeds outdoors from mid-spring until the middle of summer. You can sow a couple of weeks earlier by using crop protection or a greenhouse, either by growing them in greenhouse borders or by sowing into trays or pots to plant out once temperatures outside have improved. In areas with scorching summers, you'll want to avoid growing them in the hottest months, but you may be able to squeeze in a full crop. You can use our garden planner to work out exactly when to start sowing beets in your area. The software uses your location to adjust sowing dates accordingly. Just click on the plant list that accompanies your plan to find out exactly when you can expect to sow and harvest. If you add a cloche, hoop house or row cover to your beets, the dates in the plant list will automatically adjust to take into account the additional warmth. To sow, first mark out seed drills into prepared soil. You can use a long handled tool to make depressions into raked soil like this, or for shorter rows, simply use a hand trowel to create your drills. These should be about an inch or two centimeters deep, with subsequent rows spaced one foot or 30 centimeters apart. The seeds are quite big and knobbly, which makes them very easy to sow. Unlike other crops, beet seeds are actually clumps of individual seeds, so you'll often get several sprouts from each one. Simply drop the seeds into the drill so that they are about one or two inches apart, that's two to five centimetres. There's no need to be too precise with this, as you can always remove excess seedlings once they've germinated. Now cover the seeds back over, patting the soil back down with the palm of your hand or the back of a rake. Don't forget to label your rows. You can also sow seeds into module trays of potting soil. Sow two or three seeds into each cell, then cover with potting soil and water. Keep the potting soil moist as the seeds germinate and grow on into young seedlings. Growing in module trays allows plants to be set in place at their final spacings and is great for early crops started off under cover. Module grown seedlings should be planted so that each cluster of seedlings is about 8 to 10 inches or 20 to 25 centimetres apart in each direction. Don't worry about thinning the seedlings, the plants will naturally push themselves apart as they grow. Rows of seedlings, however, should be thinned in stages until they are around 4 inches or 10 centimetres apart within the row. Keep plants watered in dry weather, as well as encouraging good even growth, this reduces the risk of bolting when plants flower, rendering the crop useless. Carefully remove weeds between plants by hand or by using a hoe. Beets can be harvested from about the size of a golf ball up to the size of a tennis ball. To harvest, gather the base of the stems and twist the root out of the soil. You can also use a fork to dig them out. Leaves can be twisted off and cooked in the same way as spinach or just snip the leaves off into the compost heap. In areas with mild winters, roots sown later in the season can be left in the ground to dig up as required. Alternatively, store roots in boxes of sand in a cool but frost-free place. Enjoy your beets grated into salads, roast them in a little oil with herbs and rock salt, or if you're feeling adventurous, why not make a warming borscht soup topped with a scattering of garden-grown dill. Beets really are wonderful. Colourful, tasty and packed full of nutrients. If you've grown beets before, don't forget to share your own tips for growing them by popping us a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, well, we've got plenty more how-to videos like this in the pipeline, so why not subscribe? I'll catch you next time.